Hey, what's up, Scorpio? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you. We're going to take a look at you and the energy. I want to say to say attached to you, but I really want I really mean to say the energy on your mind the most, whoever you're thinking about. And then after that, I'm going to look at Scorpio singles to see what's coming in next. After that, I'll do some general predictions. And then I'll pull an oracle card at the end. I'll make sure to leave timestamps in the description box for you. So we're going to get started. Also, keep in mind that these are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, click on the description box for my website information and how to book that with me. But these are general. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Not everything is for everyone. Hey, Scorpio, what's coming in? Or not what's coming in. Who? <laughs> Who are you thinking about and what's the energy between you guys? I feel so goofy today. I don't know why. The overall energy for the reading is the sun. So trying to be happy as much as you can. Right now your energy is showing the seven of swords. That's being kind of strategic. Excuse me. That's kind of being strategic in, in a certain area of your life right now. I feel like also you're, you might be keeping to yourself. Even though it's the seven of swords, it, it doesn't feel like a regular seven of swords to me. So you might be doing stuff in secret. I don't know what that means, but that's what I get. The person attached to you is the emperor, male or female, a dominating energy. Of course, they're seeing you as somebody who, I guess you tell them how it is. You're seeing them as somebody you, you might have to make a decision about again. And I get that again with the judgment card. Your intentions is to bring love into a situation. Their intentions is a four of wands, possibly marriage. We're going to see what goes on with that. The energy between you guys is the strength card. You guys probably aren't talking to each other, probably trying to um, see that and this to me mean that you're not really communicating with this person as much. You do want to fix things. The star is what's blocking. So it's not, nothing is healing here, but that's the desire. If this is blocking, it's just not happening. You know, your actions is this, uh, six of cups, possibly trying to take this person out. And their actions is a five of wands, some drama, possible outcome, temperance. Let's take a look. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Sorry, if you guys hear me moving the mic, it's bothering me. You might be acting kind of cold and detached towards someone right now. I feel like you're focused on work and you might have a goal in mind at work and you're kind of using that as a distraction for yourself. And that's where you focus all your attention when you're in this mode. Something here about work. You might, you might be planning something also for some of you, this is even a new job. That's not for everybody, but there's a, or maybe even um, 
doesn't have to be that you're just going to work and you're using that as a distraction. It could also be that you're working on a, like a side hustle. If not a side hustle, a hobby or something that you really enjoy, something that could bring you money, something that you've done for a long time. And it's like you do this and you don't really talk about it to many people. And if you do, it's it's something you try to keep to yourself with the seven of swords. I don't know what that is. Take it how it resonates. This person feels like um, that's the way they feel. So I don't feel like you guys are together. You guys are coming off like a broken up couple or a divorced couple. I feel like you have done a lot of the work in this relationship and this person has not. They don't have energy of actually working on things. They have energy of being um, maybe a little demanding, but I'm not getting as much action as I get on your side. Let's see. You're seeing them as a judgment card, which means you got a decision to make, or maybe this is somebody who comes in and out of your life. Yep. It's something that keeps on going in and out, keeps on coming in and out of your life. It's someone that you probably have a lot of feelings for, but I don't really see it moving. I see it kind of just being something stuck. It could be someone you have, <laughs> you already had an ending with this person, judgment, death, the, the world. I was going to say the star, but that's the star. Definitely something you already had an ending with. You're seeing this person as someone things might be over with. See Queen of Swords. I feel like you have a strong drive, like you really do work hard. So whoever this is, it's like when you work, get out of your way when you're going to work. And this person is seeing you as stressed out because the way they see it is that you keep on trying to restart the connection. And then it, same thing, same, same thing, same thing. Uh, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing you being in your feelings about, um, someone who you want to work things out with and then i'm seeing them look at you being your feelings so they're not in their feelings it's like you're dealing with somebody who's kind of cold-hearted you could have been in your feelings in the past it doesn't mean that you're there now but it's, it's something that you really want to work on i feel like you've tried to bring new energy into this a few times and it doesn't really go anywhere This person might also think that you're unable to move on from them. Knight of Cups. You might have a choice between two people coming up. I also feel like you might be ignoring your intuition when it comes to this person because those cards there... It's almost like being attracted to something, but not knowing why. So if you feel like you're giving effort in a direction and you're not even sure why, just stop. You don't even, if it's one of those things where you're like, yeah, I'm giving this person effort. I don't even like this person. This person don't even treat me good because they're coming off a of very strong energy. I got to be honest. So if this person is like that, I would just stop giving effort in that direction. That's some advice. You know, you do what you got to do for you. Four of Wands for their intention. I think they do want to get married if you're not already married. Now this came out. It changes the game. This person wants something long term with someone else is what I'm getting. 
I feel like there's someone in their past. But the moon being there might not be something you're aware of. But there is something in the past there for them that they're very connected to. It could be also that you guys have dealt with each other for a long time. I'm seeing upwards to like seven years. For some of you, it's not that long, but, or even longer, but I'm getting seven. You see the six of cups. Well, you're showing me energy of being very determined to work on something, but then changing your mind and not knowing if it's something that you want. So I, I guess you could be at a point where you're not really sure of this person's intentions and you don't know how to move forward from it. Let's see the five of wands. For this person's actions, which is not a great part of action, but we'll see. Yeah, this person, it's like they come in and out of your life. They might give you momentary, um, it's like a momentary, I don't want to say lapse of judgment, but it's like messing with you. If they don't have things their way, the when they want it, they just leave. Because I'm showing, I'm showing, I'm seeing them coming in, wanting things to go their way. And if it doesn't, they're out the door. So I don't get this as being a consistent energy. It's very possible you could have been dealing with this person in and out for a while. But I don't get consistency. So if you've been dealing with this person for a minute, it's like it's not consistent at all. Oh, what a headache. I want to give you some advice. If this is your story, you need to leave this person alone. They don't know what they want for themselves. You think they know what they're going to want with you? Mm -mm. See that? For advice being temperance and healing... And holding back, I get the strength card, which is more holding back. And then it's like, with this here, I feel like you might have a tendency to maybe even, I don't know, finances are being aspected here. Maybe you're a giver, you know, maybe you like to give gifts. Maybe you like to, um, show this person how you feel by giving them stuff. This is pretty much saying, don't do that. Some of you guys, this is just attention that you give them. You might give them attention. You might make them feel very good about themselves. And this is saying to hold back on that. Whoever you're dealing with has secrets. So yeah, that's all I get for you dealing with someone. Let's look at singles. I hope that resonated for someone if you needed any clarity on anything. All right, single Scorpios, what's coming in? Or single Scorpios. Who's coming next into single Scorpio's life? What are their intentions and what's the outcome, possible outcome? Single Scorpios.
okay, the person coming into your life. Hmm. I feel like the person, the next person coming into your life, is this new or old? Let me clarify. This feels like the same energy of the cards I just pulled. And that's funny. I'm using a whole different deck. So. Okay. This could be some someone either you left or someone who left you. This could also be someone who wanted some kind of, because I feel like this is a past energy. This is a past energy. It's somebody trying to maybe even have something stable with you or presenting themselves like that, but they're very sneaky. I feel like they have one foot in the door and one foot out the door. It's a very hard energy to please. Whoever this is, they have intentions on possibly with this. It uh, Clarify this just to make sure before I say that. Because I want to say that that means that they're broke and they just want money from you. And if it's not that, it's kind of like they're lonely and they just want someone to pass the time with. And to be honest with you, that's not the right re reason to connect with somebody. It's one thing to be lonely. I want to connect with your friends. I want to be distracted like that. But to start a new love relationship because you're just lonely. Nah, shouldn't do that to people. I don't want to be your damn distraction. What the hell? See that? It, I feel like it's somebody from your past. Could be a fire sign. Very much in a singular energy. Very much in a singular energy. For some of you, this could also be you moving towards someone else who you find like very attractive. I don't see anyone coming towards you. I see you moving towards someone else, to be honest, Scorpio. The person I do see coming towards you is someone from the past. With the new person, I see you moving, you making those moves a little more instead of that coming to you too much. If that makes any sense. Whoever this person is, if it's a new person, they have good energy. And I feel like they could be dealing with some abandonment issues here when you meet them. So if this is someone old, I gave you the rundown. If this is someone new, it's not something with bad energy. But if it is someone old, it doesn't feel good. See, the outcome feels old. I'm getting this more like an old energy coming in. Be careful with your money around this person. I don't trust them at all. The thing is, if this is an old person trying to rekindle something with you, they might come off as emotionally available sometimes and then shut down. Whenever you do try to communicate with them, things that are on your mind, I feel like they shut down. So you end up keeping whatever it is to yourself and nothing gets fixed. So if that sounds like an old person in your life trying to come back in, that's who this is. Now, if it's a new person coming into your life, <clears throat> I see this new person pretty much not engaging as much with you. I see you kind of making your moves towards this person. <clears throat> That's all I got. That's all I got for this new person or old person or whoever the hell that was coming through in your reading. Let's do general messages. Let's get some general predictions for Scorpio. Let's 
so these are my uh, old Mexican duck that I learned on now seven years old. <laughs> it's not the same exact deck. My cousin has the exact deck, but this is a, I got my own copy when I got older. And I love these cards. Feel like you're going to get some news. You're going to find something out. Don't know what. For those of you single, I see, I see new love coming into your life. It's going to be at a time where you're doing really good with your finances. It's going to be the type of relationship where you could have a friendship and a love. It could even be something business related there. If you are single waiting for that new love, I don't feel like it's here yet. It's coming soon. I, I, knew, I do also feel that you're working towards your finances. Be careful of people around you in need of uh, financial help, family related. Just be careful with that. Again, this is basically just the same energy. I see a lot of money coming your way, a lot of good luck. For some of you, I see marriage with someone who is your match. I do. I see marriage with someone who is your match. It's coming in soon. And it comes in with a lot of money. Again, with the sense of even partnership or working together with this person. Some of you guys are going to start a business, I swear. I cannot make this up. I see even uh, some of you guys are going to be taking a trip. And then that trip, there's going to be um, finances discussed. This trip is going to surround um, loved ones. So it could be, it could be family. It could be friends, but it, I feel like it's more family and it's going to be a, like a, maybe even a family trip or a friends trip, something like that. And there's going to be some kind of talking to about money here. You're going to learn something. What is that? Okay. Um... I know this is not going to be for everyone, Scorpio, but I got a mother figure popping up here. Be careful with, um, I, I feel very, very much <sighs> it's an energy of really loving your financial status. And I feel like this woman has jealousy in her. It doesn't feel like a love offer. It doesn't feel romantic. This feels maternal. This could be a mom. This could be a sister. This could be a cousin. But it's someone like surrounded by home. And, and it's like them wanting money. So be careful that they might. It's like you might go somewhere. I don't know. I'm getting something so specific. It's like if you go on a trip, be careful with your money because it might get stolen by this person. But I can't say something like that. That's so, that is so specific shit. For some of you, that's what it is. Just be careful with your finances when you're traveling and try to keep it away from people that you know. I'll just say that in your home if you live with anyone. Now, if you don't live with anyone and that doesn't resonate, well, that's not for you. Let me get four more.
again with that same energy. So it's it's like some of you guys are going to realize people around you who don't have your best intentions. I feel like some of you guys might get some unexpected money and it involves a trip with this card here. Whatever unexpected money you're going to get, it's going to bring out the ugliness in people around you. You're going to have a good amount of finances and people around you are going to have a meltdown. It's like you can't, you know, you can't have good things without people being jealous. It just is what it is. Unfortunately, I feel that this is very close to you in your home. And I feel you're going to be very hurt over whoever it is that is jealous of you and doesn't want to see you succeed. You might not believe me right now, but it is close to whom these cards is like cards of hopelessness. I wouldn't be getting this for you if this was someone whose opinion didn't matter. Okay. So this is a warning to just be careful with the people closest to you. Especially when your finances go up, keep that to yourself. Don't go telling your friends how much money you got, what, what you just stumbled across on when you investment. You just, no, no, shut up. Don't tell nobody. That's nobody's business. You work on what you got to do by yourself because those people, mm -mm. <clears throat> yeah, just really good things coming for you. Um, after a period of maybe loss or sadness. Yeah, see that? There could be an end of a situation and a brand new beginning of others, uh, another situation. I'm getting something ending and something beginning right away. You know what? I'm just going to do it like this. See? There's something very stable about you, Scorpio. It's like you're, you're a rock. You're the type of person that tries to stay as strong as you can when things around you are crumbling. So I'm, I'm kind of seeing a, a situation with you that's going to really hit you hard. And it's going to cause a lot of sadness for you. It could be surrounding a death. It could be surrounding pregnancy. It could be surrounding the end of a relationship and the beginning of a new one. With those cards being there, so take it how it resonates. It could be the end of a job, the beginning of a new job, the end of a career, beginning of a new career. But it's something that's going to be hard for you to transition into. You have a lot of good cards here. You have a lot of good things going for you with this new route. It's not going to feel that way. It's not going to feel that way right off the bat. Something's telling me just throw these down. Yep. See? I also see you, like I said, um, being in a relationship with someone soon. It's not here yet. I take that as you and this person having distance between you guys. You might have your eye on someone, not sure if they have your their eye on you. Looks like it. it. Does. Yeah, that's what I got here. So be careful with money stuff. Let me get an oracle card. What would you like to tell Scorpio Spirit? You get upskill. Hey. Okay. 
You are stuck at a crossroads and more information or education is the way forward. Upskill or studying may be the solution to a career or finance issue. It is time for a change. Empowering yourself with new skills and knowledge will help you direct that change. You are ready to make a positive shift, but may have been underestimating your ability to study or master something new. You do not necessarily need to formally study at a college or university. Doing a short course, attending a seminar, or completing a weekend workshop may be a good place to start. Be courageous and disciplined like the ancient Greek warriors. Do not settle for a job or career that does not suit you well. Ask yourself how you could stimulate your career progress and increase your opportunities. Be honest with yourself about what you could improve and take steps toward achieving what you want in your career. Now is the perfect time for you to go forward and make these changes. So Scorpio, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like. And if you're new, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.